It's Umsum time! Is too much salt bad for us? Huh? No. Too many questions are bad for us. Oh, Umsum. Salt is basically sodium chloride. Hmm. It is important for various bodily functions such as transmitting nerve oh. impulses, digestion, etc. Oh. However, too much of something is never good. Hmm. Firstly, when too much salt enters our blood, the water content in oh. our blood rises, increasing the volume of blood. Ah. As a result, our heart works harder than usual. Secondly, as more blood flows through the blood vessels, it puts strain on their walls. Over time, this causes the walls to grow thicker, narrowing the vessels and thus increasing our blood pressure. Mm -hmm. In addition to this, narrowing of blood vessels means less oxygen and nutrients get transported to the cells, increasing the risk of dementia, stroke, and heart attacks. Lastly, to remove excess salt, our kidneys use more water and we urinate more frequently thus leaving us dehydrated and thirsty. Hmm. Can gargling salt water huh? cure sore throat? No. It produces soothing music. Oh, um some. Gargling with salt water is a common method to treat sore throat, but huh? it is important to note that it doesn't cure sore throat. It just provides some relief. A sore throat is usually caused by bacterial or viral infection. Huh? This infection activates our immune system due to which immune cells, blood, and plenty of fluids reach the site, <laughs> causing redness, swelling, oh. pain, etc. But how does gargling with salt water provide relief? Mm -hmm. By osmosis. Osmosis is the movement of water from lower concentration of solute to higher concentration of solute through a semi-permeable membrane. Now in salt water, the amount of solute, that is salt, is relatively higher than the salt present in the tissues of our throat. So, when we gargle, the excess fluid rushes out of our tissues, reducing swelling and thus easing out the pain. Why are tears salty? Cause our eyes forgot to add sugar to them. Ugh. Just listen. There's no way that our tears cannot be salty because salt, that is sodium chloride, is very essential for various bodily functions. Sodium in salt conducts nerve impulses, helps all the muscles to contract, etc. Chloride is an essential part of our stomach acid. According to research, there's about half a pound of salt in our bodies. Now, if we have so much salt, it makes sense that our bodily fluids, including sweat, blood, and tears, naturally have some salt in them. Besides this, it would take a lot of cellular energy to make sure that our tears were 100% pure water. Moreover, as some tears are continuously produced to lubricate our eyes, it is believed that salt in those tears inhibits the growth of bacteria, thus preventing infections. Why does salt make food taste better? <sighs> Wait, I'll explain. Salt, which is basically sodium chloride, makes almost everything taste better. Whether it is french fries, certain fruits, curries, or even cookies, we like at least a little salt in all these foods. According to researchers, we've evolved to like salt maybe because our bodies need salt for survival. Huh? What? Salt for survival? Indeed. Sodium present in salt maintains our blood pressure, transmits nerve impulses, etc. Whereas chloride is used to produce hydrochloric acid in our stomach. Hence, to obtain salt, we have gradually developed a taste for it. Thus, salt in food makes it appealing and tasty. In addition to this, it is found that salt suppresses bitterness better than sugar. Researchers aren't sure how. Some researchers suggest that salt neutralizes the bitter tongue receptors, while some suggest that on adding salt, the brain interprets the taste as less bitter. Hmm.